Joker's Under. And if that at all sounds familiar to you, then perhaps you recall a particular episode in the third season of the 1960s Batman TV series. It's that episode that Figures Toy Company has chosen to base a whole round of four figures upon. We're going to dig into the details of those figures, so grab your surfboard and let's ride the waves! Three figures down and one to go in this set of four variants from Figures Toy Company, part of their collection celebrating the 1966 Batman TV series. And of course, we know that the beautiful Barbara Gordon was featured in that episode, Surf's Up, Joker's Under. So she is the fourth and final figure that we're going to take a look at. And I'm excited about this because... Well, I don't have the Batgirl figure in the set, so <laughs> this is a pretty good second. And um, she's wearing her swimsuit that you saw in that episode. In fact, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, I've been reading along in the official Batman Bat book by Joel Eisner. I've been reading along the different episode synopses as I've been re-watching the episodes of this series, starting with season one. And it's interesting to note, especially, like, who pops up in the cast of each episode. I love that information. I'm kind of geeky that way. Um, so it's interesting because, of course, we know back in the day that all the celebrities wanted to be on Batman, and um, you see some really interesting names pop up there. Now, here is the amazing Yvonne Craig in her swimsuit. And this photo and this figure and me in any swimsuit, we don't do any justice to what Yvonne Craig really looked like in that beautiful black swimsuit on the beach. Oh, my gosh. It's like, wow. If you haven't seen the episode, definitely go watch it. She was just absolutely stunning. It's a very stylistic 60s swimsuit. And um, this figure is <laughs> this figure is doing a little bit more peekaboo in this swimsuit than the actress actually did on screen. So um, I think it was hard to configure this um, style in this pattern of swimsuit I'm imagining for an action figure of this style. But we do see, um, by the way, we do see in here the very classic Mego mold for a female figure because if you go back and look at earlier episodes of this series, our season one episodes on the Batgirl, Supergirl, Wonder Woman, Catwoman, the set of four super females from the 1970s by Mego, um, this was the exact mold, so I love that that Figures Toy Company has definitely adopted that. And um, Barbara Gordon is the one figure out of the four variants that does not have a surfboard. And she was on the beach. She was hanging out with Skip Parker, the very well-known, well-skilled surfer who was kidnapped by the Joker in this episode. And then um, Joker drained his surfing knowledge from him because the Joker wanted to be the world's greatest surfer or some ridiculous nonsense like that. So poor Skip Car Parker gets kidnapped and Barbara is, I guess, dating him. It really seems that way as they're lounging on the beach and then she wonders what the heck happened to him and she sees him being loaded into the Joker mobile, I think. And so she goes and calls her dad, who was Commissioner Gordon, and said, hey, you know, you better get yourself down to the beach. And then later in the episode, after the surfing competition, Joker runs off or whatever, and um, there's a confrontation at the Hang Five Beach Club where Barbara conveniently turns, changes into her Batgirl costume so that she can help the dynamic duo fight the Joker and his men. So as I mentioned, um, if you could, like, if I'm a purist, I want to take this. <laughs> I think there's a little bit too much netting on the front of this, you know, for propriety, <laughs> for um, decency. I kind of wish I could, like, uh, maybe I'll take, like, something and kind of sew it with black thread. Just kind of pin it together a little bit in that gap so that it, it closes the gap a little bit more. I might do that because I've been known to use a needle and thread before. But nevertheless, very nice figure. She's got some printing on her back. Yeah, it's got the website for figurestoycompany.com, made in China, it says there. Now, her head shape, um, no. <laughs> okay, they, they made an effort at 
the hairstyle. We always saw Barbara Gordon with her brown hair piled up on her head, short hair, kind of stylistic, piled up on her head. Looked much prettier on the actress again. And the shape of the head. You know, I'm a big fan. I'm um, just to really digress here. I'm a big fan of Joyce Meyer, the preacher, the female preacher. Wonderful, amazing, anointed female, by the way. This figure looks totally like Joyce Meyer, <laughs> especially because Joyce tends to wear her hair like that. It's crazy. But Yvonne Craig, um, I don't know. Not really. Comment below if you agree or disagree. I don't know. And look at what's going on. Oh, boy, her head, her neck is... I guess it just, it tilts, it's so weird. Oh, and they got like the little, it's hard to describe, but like a little pattern you'd sometimes see in the joints of these dolls. I remember this from when I was a kid. Got like a bumpy pattern there, if you know what I'm talking about. It's a very geeky thing. But yeah, besides that, nice articulation. All the standard articulation of that female Mego mold from the 1970s. Are those light green eyes? They really look greenish. She is cute, all in all. And she's on the beach, and she is looking out for Gotham by the side of the Caped Crusaders. And she also had this orange bag. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it in the screenshot there. So nice touch to have the orange bag. And you could actually put something in there. I should get her a little comb or something to put in there. Not that I could comb her hair. But there we go. Okay. Barbara's going to the beach. All right. Well, that's the set of four variants. And series, the next series by Figures Toy Company is on the way on this show, for st so stay tuned for that. But coming up, the first week of September, actually first week and a half or so, they have something really special because, you know, we've been celebrating the 50th anniversary of this Batman TV show all year long, but there were two other key shows that debuted in 1966 that we want to celebrate on Terrific TV Toys. Can you guess which TV shows also debuted in 1966 that we would like to celebrate the 50th anniversary of? Well, comment below if you want to guess but definitely stay tuned.